Hi, my name is Patrick Ward, and I'm from Tampa, Florida in the U.S., and this is my week four assignment for the Introduction to Music Production course. Today I'm going to talk about the use of the Compressor plugin for Logic Pro X. The compressor is a dynamic effect that allows you to tighten up and shape in your audio by reducing the sounds that exceed a th certain threshold level. This can smooth out the dynamics of a track and help increase the perceived loudness of that track for your listeners. For my example, I'm going to be working with a MIDI bass track that I've laid down for a piece of music that I'm working with. Let's take a, take a listen to it first so that you can see what the initial problem is and how compression might be able to help. So as you can hear, the, uh, the bass track is a bit low and it doesn't really compete well with the other instruments such as the guitars and the drums. Um, I can try and increase the volume of it and we can listen to it again. But as you can hear, the bass still just isn't, isn't popping out. And what we can do is we can apply some compression to that to allow it to uh, make that bass track really pop out and compete with the other instruments. Now there's compression already being applied to this particular bass track, but it's obviously not very effective. So let's go ahead and open up the compression uh, plug-in and take a look. If I play the music now, you can see that the compression isn't being applied because the threshold level is set too high. So I'm going to bring the threshold level down a little bit to about 29, 29.5. I'm going to increase the gain uh, to about 11.5 and that'll help me sort of override some of the effects of the reduction in, in volume and help increase some of the perceived loudness. I don't need to set a limiter threshold on this particular piece right now, but I am going to set the ratio up to about 5 to 1. Uh, I'm going to add uh, a little bit of knee, and that lets me soften the compression a little bit. At a knee of 0, for instance, it only applies a compression as it reaches the threshold level. It's sort of a hard compression. But as I increase the knee, I allow the compression to be applied slightly as it approaches the threshold level, and sort of softens the effect a little bit. I am going to uh, increase the uh, milliseconds of the attack here because I, I want to uh, retain some of the transients uh, as that that MIDI bass track is being applied and I'm going to reduce the release a little bit so now that we've made a few choices let's take a listen to the music now So as you can hear, the bass track is, is popping out a lot more now, and it, it, it has a little bit more character, and it competes better with the rest of the instruments. It's not perfect, but I'm still learning. Uh, we can go back and listen to our original version by clicking this Compare button. Let's listen to that. And again, we'll listen to the changes that we made. So as you can hear, compression can be a really powerful tool for shaping the sounds within your mix. Uh, I hope this was informative and educational for you, and thank you for listening.